Look at these offerings from Target. They're uh, really ugly. Nothing look is at this. cute. I have no problem with these outfits necessarily. Uh, just is this wear any? Is it I worth Target's several. quality of life to post this on their website? Um, well, it's actually, like it's what is that word to have an aneurysm. <laughs> well, no, yeah. so yeah. now, girls. What's going to be fun is in July, after Pride Month is over, all of this is on super sale, and they can't get rid of it. Yep. Who's <laughs> that sexy <laughs> green <be> number <laughs> somewhere? I was going to say it's giving mm -hmm. landfill queer. for sure. It's hideous. It's queer, nope. queer, queer, queer. Well, not only that, like, gay people aren't going to wear this to Pride. They're, they wear much cuter things to Yeah, they're going to wear something cool and, like, mm -hmm. aesthetically pleasing. Um, is, a Pride gingerbread up. house. Okay, wow. that actually looks like fun. What, to put your Wait, cock in? What's the point yeah. of this? Is it a gingerbread house? <laughs> I wouldn't Gen decorate it like that. Gingerbread. Like, gender See, that's bread funny. House. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Yeah, have the kids decorate not, candy then, in honor of anal sex. Is that a, that's the yeah. thing to go for. Right? I'm so happy you're queer, Cards. See, um, if I would have given someone that back in middle school, I would have been bullying. And now a it's... trans people will always... It's <laughs> actually really funny. I'm so happy you're queer. You're so queer. You're hilarious friends. <laughs> you're my chosen family. Huh. <laughs> Queers. I have to get, I have to get a, a pride cookie f kit float. A cookie kit. Isn't it just easier to make up with your so dad? stupid. It is, Chrissy. Gla it is. Glad you came out. I wonder if Europe does this whole, like, gay pride thing and if their merch is better. Oh, like, their merchandise and it, general I brands. Think, you well, have this for a kid. They have a little kid... Pride shirt. This is what's fucked up. They've got onesies. They've got oh. bibs. Yeah, this. there you the go. Not Why only gay, but we're Latin. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Latin. Why do they have to wear a shirt? Like, it doesn't even make sense. Get oh, oh, no! Oh, they have child! No! 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 no, 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 no. no. Oh. no. Yeah, they've no. co-opted lamb chop. What have they done? Nope. No. This. They have a whole um pride collection for dogs, and so those are dogs' mm -hmm. toys because I have the regular lamb chop for my dogs. Yeah, but, I posted yeah, a but, picture the well, other day of they had dog toys and a cat house and like cat no. mice that were like trans and different colored yeah. flags. But they do it for every single holiday. Well, dogs can get you know, monkey will buy now, it. so they're all dogs are, oh, dogs are water water bottle. Bottle. I don't care. A pride Is dog pride water like bottle June? should double as a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> the collections Fans always start pride. coming out a month before. Uh, that way you have it for the holiday. I just this feel like either live, laugh, lesbian. Actually, I was gonna say I kind of want that one. I'll wear live, it. laugh. <laughs> Lesbian. Lesbian. I, know, I want to I put that in my it. my living room wall. Absolutely. Wow. Like, on a pillow. Honey this and original. Can I just awesome. say that like everything that's on this is so conservative based on what people actually wear to Pride. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Like the everyone's Pride outfits are iconic and like like right. art. This is Directly just kidding. <laughs> None of them are gonna wear this to Pride. This is like no. hangover outfit. Pride collapsible dog bowl. My God, yeah. that just looks like a tie dye one that they are repurposing for Pride. Right. <laughs> They're like, it's it's got colors on it. Yeah. Use it for tie dye. Pride. Used to be the hippies. Now, yeah, but it's if uh... your Pride is not collapsible, is it really Pride? No, drag queens. If they like, divine the iconic dead drag queen is rolling over in her grave over this. Uh... Pride hair clips. These are hideous. These are fucking hideous. Like it's I've made out. Chick. I would never wear any of this shit. This is mm. this is so uh why is this on kids? Stop it. Kids are not supposed to be celebrating pride. Stop it. Ugh. These are so gross. Pride collar charm. That's so dumb. That halter this top's is... kind of cute. Yeah, I've been to pride yeah, parades. Would... Yeah, you wear fun 
Yeah. Ornate, sparkly, feathers, loud. You're not wearing oh, lame, cool. like, Gap-esque, Old Navy-esque. I know. It hurts. Well, a at pride. least you're not selling bondage. That's Ugh. Folsom Street there. Don't give anyone any ideas. This is hideous. Who is mm. wearing this? Too queer for here. It's a bag with a spaceship. Oh, so they're going to What does the baby bib God. say, no please? What? Now. I am proud of you always. Your uh, you don't know there. that your baby's proud of you? Baby doesn't yeah. know anything. <laughs> they're looking for baby. No pride. It shits its pants. Kind of throw Let up. Fuck up. <laughs> Triple they're the looking amount. For who Your looks shit. for affirmation from their three month old? Weak yeah. people. That's mentally new. ill Here. people. <laughs> Here is there the baby. Oh my God. But it's on a chick? Is that a chick? Or yeah. is that a dude? Can't tell. This is a duck friendly. It looks like uh, a born female. Uh, this is a biological girl that they are modeling this. Only one left. Bathing suit. This is the one with the tuck friendly uh, yeah. construction. Can Ooh, I say nerd. it's a design off of the swimsuit that's really popular on Amazon, and the one on Amazon is much cuter. I like that you were shopping for nerds earlier, Chrissy. I'm like, oh, I love <laughs> Don't get distracted. Uh, no, nerds bites are great. <laughs> they are. Uh, Super cute. Yeah, but no see, none of this. I, wish had I don't think any of this is cute or art, and everything I'm thinking right now is a hate crime. So love the inclusion. It says, <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Still hung out the side. Oh, I would appreciate no. a target made an even wider bottom so that I could better fit my undercarriage's man bulk. <laughs> this has to be yeah, maybe you God. shouldn't be putting that. your fucking I testicles into a bikini bottom. Swim short mm -hmm. since I'm actually a guy. Is this a real review? No, I think that's a troll <laughs> review. That has to be a troll review. I think this you have to buy something to leave a review on Target though. I so think you have to buy that. You could buy literally. something. You don't have to buy that. Like, they could go and buy laundry detergent and then leave a review on anything. Ah. Martha Stewart, look out. Um, maybe I got the flattering style. Love it. This 50-year-old found beach confidence oh. in a controversial bathing suit. Heck, it got me into the pool after decades <laughs> of being ashamed of my ample bosom and curvy figure. A win for me. Mm. Martha Adult Stewart, look out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't waste your money. It says... It says on the tag, it is tuck friendly, but my bulge is bulging out oh everywhere. God. See, it's not even bulge friendly. See, they have it figured out somehow for the dudes in Europe who just wear those little Speedos. Works for them. You know what I've been seeing a lot of, because I'm seeing a lot of negative comments because I uh, commented on it. People are going, oh, I have a big labia. Sometimes oh. Oh, you have a fat pussy and you need to tuck. I'm like, if what? you can't Sounds like a skill issue. Or a suit, I got news for you. You have a cock. Okay? Yeah, I was going to say, I have like kind of fat labia and I've never had an issue in any bathing suit. It's fine. The cope I'm seeing from people going, oh, you don't have a meaty pussy. And it's like, ugh. Well, at that point, it's like, well, then just because, you know, it comes on doesn't mean it fits. So you need a bigger size if that's your issue. Mm -hmm. Not everything has to be for everyone, you know? Right. Just buy exactly. a bigger bikini brief. Or wear swim wear trunks. Hey, hey yeah. Crime. <laughs> yeah, I'm, tr I'm really and trying to think if I've ever had an issue in a bikini before. I, I haven't. It's never been like a problem. Just tuck your lips in and go about your day. <laughs> Maybe it's Just wear an oversized t-shirt into the swimming pool. It's tradition, all right? <laughs> <laughs> we love a good uh, swim shirt moment. You no, know, all this, yeah, all in t-shirts. Exactly. It's we're going to find come December or even probably sooner than that. We're going to find all this shit at the TJ Maxx because it's not going to be selling. No, oh, yeah. Why? Why do they have to even wear a swimsuit again? I'm just like against like any guy wearing it in public because it just seems indecent. Because you know their genitalia is different. It's not appropriate. They're doing it with the intent, with a purpose. That's not what they normally wear. Um, so like, why can't, okay. So if I were trans, um, like the reverse, why couldn't I just wear trunks anyway? Like if I still have junk down there, that, that doesn't make you a man if you wear it and it doesn't, it's not as inappropriate because there's not I like, have never liked there's more skin color. Color. It's, it's so. because they think wearing certain clothing makes them as different gender, Brittany. Right. I think it's a fetish. We I just like, it is. It, it literally is. It's autogynophilia. 
Isn't yep. it weird already as a woman if like a man in a speedo joins you in a hot tub? That's it's already not my thing, yeah. but I think that's yeah. just because it's Nobody not what we're used that. to here. Like in Europe, right. that's so common, and yeah, so they don't think twice about it. There could be a cultural it. factor to it. That's true, but in my perspective as American, I find that strange that they don't just uh, wear the trunks anyway. Like I, I would wear trunks a hot if I were in a speedo. Yeah. Like a hot built. You have a hot like, body, and you can rock a speedo. Wear whatever. I don't know. But, I yeah. did water polo and swimming when I was younger. And so it's like, I'm so desensitized to seeing men in Speedos and like the, the, the swim trunks that they wear, it has, it's like skin tight. So you do see everything. You actually get, see less with the Speedo because yeah. the way that, like the You're trunks right. are. And it's like, I'd rather see a man in a Speedo than those type of like. It's always trunks. just the man that shouldn't be in a Speedo that always wants to hang out with you in a, in a yep. speedo and walk up to you and talk <laughs> like, to hey, you. Girl. That's why I'm traumatized. <laughs> but in Confidence ballet, like through the through. male ballerinas, like when I was, when I was a ballerina, <laughs> their junk is like right there in like tight, oh. tight. So, so yeah, I, I suppose I'm desensitized to that too, but they're hot because they're dancing around all day. So yeah, I don't know. It's just not, a, I just Basically want, what we're I just saying want my is, life to be aesthetically pleasing. I'm just fat wearing up. clothes and not naked. Like that's, I'm like, as long as you're covering and I don't have to see anything, like I just won't look your direction. That's right. If you've ever, I think there's different contexts. I think Target like, knows that none of this shit is really going to sell. And it's just a few shirts. It's like, what, 20 different shirts and a couple bathing suits that they have to make, especially just a virtue signal. They figure a certain amount of their stuff is not going to sell really anyway. And they're like, this shit is not really going to sell, but it's probably worth the press. It's worth like the outrage and the vir virtue signal to get their ESG score up. And then they're like, all right, we're going to fucking mm -hmm. throw it all out in six months. Well, not only and that, when they get a tax break on their losses. So they, right. it's kind of like what Disney's doing right now where they took the Willow TV show off of Disney Plus because it's better for them to claim it as a loss than have it up on their platform. That's because, hilarious. It did yeah, so I know. Well. They're just so like when Target does stuff like this, like they did like the BLM for like Black History Month, which was February. So they had all these, uh, you know, hearts and Valentine's Day stuff. And then there's all like this Black History Month stuff. And nobody bought it. It went on super sale. So they claim that as losses. And so they get a tax break from it. And But they also get their virtue signaling points. Well, so nobody, just right. nobody, nobody, no matter how you feel, really enjoys pandering, I don't think. Yeah. So, like, obviously, Target, like, pandering to gay people. Ha my brother's gay. I'm I, My brother's boyfriend is clearly gay my best friend's <laughs> gay they're gay men i don't see them shopping at target like chomping at the bit to go over to target to get some like where are they shopping bathing suits they're shopping at chic places well, like, that's a good point because yeah. gay men usually right. stereotypically right they have really good taste in fashion so it's like then yeah. who are they marketing to because they know that target knows that so it's like okay so they're marketing to the younger kids that can't they, afford the nice things or what maybe you're right. they're marketing they're to the marketing allies to the allies to signal too yeah. right they're i think they do the right these are for like, for like white Christmas liberal women yeah right these shirts think... are for white liberal women who sharp who shop at target who oh look i put a rainbow onesie on my baby i'm a fucking ally look at That's me That's exactly <laughs> yeah. 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 Look, yeah. look i'm an ally, ally. look i'm an ally like, guess what Gay men don't want you, white ladies. They do no. not want you. And they guess what? Don't trans care, people don't want you to, to buy a ally. shirt to show the world they're trans because we can tell by looking at your fucking face, okay? <laughs> so. God, they'll pay for a dog shit rainbow shirt to put on their kids a virtue signal about anal sex so that they can't feed their kids something that isn't fucking paint thinner cereal, though. Can't invest right. the time in that, though. Right. Yeah. Or just, you know, like be a good person and support your friends who are gay and stuff and stop trying to be an asshole that's like, look at me, look at me. I'm so good. I did a good thing. I hate, yeah. I why do you have to wear that. a shirt? Well, look, for my it doesn't baby make sense. In a duck easy onesie. Look, it's yes. a baby. It's a baby. Yeah. It's wonderful. Cradle it. Throw it on the ground. It's not even in good taste. At least make it in good taste or something. Like, why couldn't it be like subtle? 
to where it's not target. just like it's not your face. necessary to put on your baby and gay like gay men don't give a fuck if your if your kid is in a rainbow onesie they don't <laughs> care yeah. they're yeah. cheap and stylish and living their <laughs> lives in a like, hallway doing covers like, look around who's one of you rainbow onesie <laughs> Right. Well, you know who do like do that kind of stuff the most because gay men typically don't have children, and if they do, those kids look like little models because they like dress them like very, yes. very. Fancy. Yes. Um, uh, Andy, uh, Andy Cohen dresses his child. He's a single father, which I love, like a goddamn supermodel, and I love <laughs> it. But he would never have his child caught dead in any one of those things from fucking target okay you know who do are lesbians like lesbians that uh. hate men that need to like virtue signal in their in your face that they're lesbians it's like honey we know we can see you yeah. like yes you obviously you, Home Depot. I, you weren't lesbian enough because you had sex with a man so you could have a kid so you could virtue signal with mm. your kid and use your kid for all of this i so also I lesbians yeah all the time with their kids dressed in the like the, the stupid, you know, cheap target. Do you think shit. it's lesbians and straight white liberal women that are yes. buying this? Yes. Yeah. I right, because like, it's like women yeah. are buying most of the shit anyway, especially for kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is why I will never have a child. Um, oh, Kiki. I, know it. I will not. You could, have, you could have Gino's baby. I know. He's trying to convince me. He wants, uh, and my, I promise, I told my brother and his boyfriend, I was like, I would consider giving them my eggs. But then it's sort of weird because uh is that friend. incest then if your brother well it's not it my egg? brother's sperm it would be his boyfriend's his sperm does boyfriend your brother have sperm. to then fuck your egg no one there's no fucking going on <laughs> <laughs> it's all petri dish baby but they stuff. pop it in some <laughs> other fuck <whore>. my egg <laughs> with my egg in it and use rock <laughs> my brother's wow that could be your technical child sperm. then yes uh gino doesn't like that and uh we we fight about this all the time he's the only one that could could sneak one past the iud maybe you should let him maybe no he just wants me to be fat and ugly and i can't stand no it. no we fight about it i feel like the little sperm would have a bandana on it it would like jump rope past the iud and absolutely you gotta be it would like never it. survive <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Mm. I'm glad we really uh, fleshed out this Target thing because it is interesting to be like, okay, who's actually buying this shit? Who is it for? They know most of it won't sell, and the people that are buying it are doing it to virtue signal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Anna's right. I didn't even consider that whole thing that it could just be a tax write-off. They're like, oh, this is like marketing, and then it's a tax write-off because we lose oh, money. Oh, 100%. I like, so crazy. I'm addicted to Target, so I go there all the time. And I, I love, love a good Target, target. but yeah. it's like everything is so uh, like everything. Anytime they have a collection for something, I know right after everything's going to go on super sale. So it's like I get a lot of my I, Chrissy, you've been to my house. I like to decorate for every holiday. So it's after so every cute. holiday, I'm like, yeah. so Easter was over. I was like, let me go buy some rabbit stuff, you know, and it's all That's super cheap. Idea. That's what, what do I do. Think? Except the candy. <laughs> what like, do you guys think of the idea of of people are talking about now boycott target don't buy anything from target what do you all think of that do you think that's they a target. Target. It's a point. It's i don't gone. i don't boycott anything ever on either side if i want to shop there i'm fucking shopping there nothing's gonna stop me doesn't matter i'll go to i i love gay people but i'm going to chick-fil-a yeah, no, the only reason it oh, worked with yeah. uh, Bud Light was because that's, like, one product that everyone can unanimously just... And Bud Light sucks. Nobody likes Bud Light. It's garbage it's beer, yeah. It's cold and it's there, there and it's cold. Yeah. You're, you're gonna... So many people shop at Target. It's in so many countries. Like, there's no way it's gonna work. And they do this every single year. This isn't, like, a new thing that out of nowhere they were, like, this type of business and then they all of a sudden switch like what Bud Light did. No, they've been doing this since the beginning. So this is yeah. nothing new. Yeah, it's piss water, but and I don't give a fuck if Dylan Mulvaney wants to be on a on a uh can of it. I don't drink it anyway. White claw, however, uh I might, you know, I might I may need to look into her more to 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 have her represent my brand, which is White Claw. But yeah. um 
yeah, yeah it's also fine. not into socialism but i'm not gonna stop eating ben and jerry's that's just not gonna happen <laughs> oh i'm done with ben and jerry's they piss me off oh there's i also don't like me off that much but if hagen does did that <laughs> love you guys thank you for the chats thank you for the comments i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye all right love you guys oh, i don't even want to leave this candle smells so good i don't want to leave all right love you guys talk to you soon bye love you all join the discord feet love you all wow you guys are awesome bye guys bye now i'm really leaving love you bye